Section number three, mindset shifting. What I have told you from the previous section was why your confidence in this area is so high compared to somewhere else and how we will transform it. So if you are a fitness person and you feel so good about yourself, it's probably because you go to the gym five times a week, maybe seven times a week, maybe more. I don't know. And probably you are doing it for years and years and years. So what it tells you? Come on. What it just tells you? Or maybe your health. Are you eating healthy? Are you feeling good? Do you have a lot of energy? I'll share it with you on my example. So I've been on the event. It was in July 2023. It was with Tony Robbins. And I have decided no more coffee, no more alcohol, especially the alcohol because I was drinking quite a few beers every then and then. And only things what I changed was going for a walk, not drinking beer and not drinking alcohol and eating a little bit healthier. Not that, I mean, all, all healthy, but healthier, like no fries, nothing like that. And the thing is, in a matter of two months, I have lost seven kilos and I felt much better about myself with my health. And the, the thing is, in the first two, three, four, five days, I didn't see a difference. It was actually harder. I was having headaches from not drinking coffee. It was much harder at the beginning. I was feeling all the pain in my legs from all those walks. It was very difficult and I didn't see any difference. But as the times went and went and I was doing it more and more, it became that I could show, I can see it on myself with my energy levels. I could see it on also on my body that I lost the weight. So what I'm trying to tell you in here, no, nothing in life happens like that, only a decision. The rest takes some time. And if you are doing something for the fa past five, 10 years or telling yourself that you are not confident to speaking to people and you are telling that story to yourself for the past 10 years, it, we're not gonna change it like that. We need to change we need to create a new story for you. And once we create the new story, the only way how you're going to start believing in that story is that you'll start practicing it. That's the only thing how you're going to become better. It's with everything, it's with sports, with educational, with whatever you do. It's becoming better and better. It's by doing it. So as I said, it's by doing it, you'll become better and better, but it takes time. So first thing what we need to do to do, we need to change your story. Because 10 years you are telling yourself, I'm not confident, I'm not confident to build a business, I, I don't have it with me, I don't have it inside of me. So you don't, because you are telling that story to yourself for the past five years, 10 years, or your life. But also you are telling yourself a different story. I'm very good in sports, I'm very good in playing some instrument, I'm very good with in relationships, I'm very good in different, so many different things. So. The difference in your confidence is your story you are telling yourself. Change your story, change your life, change your confidence. So what we need to do, again, take your pen and paper. Okay, take it. I mean it, take it. Come on, you need to do it. If you don't do it, we're not gonna move anywhere. So take your pen and paper and start writing and rewriting your story. Because this confidence, what we are doing in here, you can use in any area. So wherever area you are missing your confidence, we need to write the new story. So start writing down. I will and what. So for example, if you are doing it because you want to build a business and you are not very good with speaking to people and making those connections, so you will write, I'm very good with speaking in people and I'm very good in making connections with new people and by doing that I'll close more sales and I'll sell more products or services and I'll be value for another people. And you'll write it down. Write it down a few times, write it down as a sentence, write it down as a paragraph, depends what you want. But not only that, we will need to embody it in ourselves. Let's talk about it in the next section, but the first thing what you need to understand is changing your mindset from the close one, which you are telling yourself all the time, yeah, I'm not good enough, as I did, as I shared with you on my story, I'm not good, really good enough with girls because I, didn't, I don't look good. And I was telling my story like that for years and years. And it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And the same you are doing with you in that area. But you know you are good in different areas. So we will transfer those skills into this area. So write it down and let's move to another section.